I'm trying to find this barber shop. I cannot find it. He said next to the sign place. I don't see no fucking barber shop. I don't know where the fuck I am. Your boy is back. I have a new extra barber now. I love the way he cut my hair. It's nice, right? When I tell y'all, I am so fucking hungry. Mm. So good. I haven't eaten all day. So this is literally everything. Crock con fries. Some wings. I know this looks like a lot of food. It is a lot of food. I'm gonna eat this literally for two days. So the way I eat, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this for two days literally. Just like picking and picking and picking and picking and picking. Literally for two days. Well, not two days because I'm going away tomorrow, but I probably throw it away. But concave in, really good food. I said yesterday was my last day drinking soda, but I got one more bottle left in the fridge. So, me is gonna drink that. So, I'm just stopped home to eat, clean my brushes. Well, no, I actually have clean brushes. Eat, get my makeup kit together. Um, and go right back out. I have an appointment at seven. It's five o'clock right now, so and it's in Midtown. I'm located in Buckhead, so it's not that far. So I'm gonna probably leave home like six o'clock, so like in the next hour. So I'm just gonna eat, chill, relax a little bit until my appointment later on. Okay, y'all, I just did my last client of the night. Well, my only client of the day. Um, I made $300. Um, it was a travel client. I always do her makeup. I think she's going to dinner or something like that. Um, it's a Wednesday night, so I usually don't have a lot of clients on Wednesdays. Most of my clients are like towards the end of the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I only had one client today, so... That's pretty much why I just was running errands all day. So, yeah, so now I'm going home. My flight is at 8 a.m., so I need to be to the airport by at least 6 a.m. Um, so when I go home now, I need to, oh Lord, this is gonna be a long night because I really wanna go to bed. I need to do laundry, clean my makeup kit, clean brushes, clean my house i need to clean my kitchen because i just threw some dishes in there and it was in there from yesterday um pack i want to start to edit this vlog like upload on my computer and just like delete what needs to be deleted and start putting it in order and stuff like that to see where i'm going because i am gonna continue this vlog into my new york trip so it's gonna be like day in the life I think, like, day in the life of a makeup artist, a celebrity makeup artist. I hate that word, celebrity makeup artist, because I do anybody once you got the coin, for real. But, um, yeah, so, go home, 
do that and get ready for my flight and yeah. I just had literally one of the best fucking nights I've had in so long. Like literally so fucking long. Oh my god. After we went to the Sephora event, we went to dinner. Best fucking... I don't even know the name of that place that we went to. It was the most bougiest best fucking dinner I've, I've never went I think it's called Fransco hold on I think it's called Fransco anyway I'll get I'll get the name of the restaurant when I tell you this restaurant was so fucking top tier that you move your hand the way to come running can I help you can I help I'm like Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. Now that's, that's service. That's like, they was top tier. And it was just like such a vibe. Like, I didn't really get no pictures. I think I got like one video. Because I didn't want to be that person in the room recording, 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 recording. That's so ghetto. Sitting at a table with... I can't even mention like the biggest people in the world not even like celebrities like people who <sighs> impact change people who are just oh my god like I can't even explain like and that's why I love like my client who I'm with now my main client who I'm with now because she just she's one of those people who put you in the rooms to succeed like i'm in the room with these type of people talking about this learning this learning that and it's just like i was i was i was having like a surreal that's what you call it surreal moment where i was just like lionel look where you fucking are and i know y'all don't get it because i can't say the details 
of like, but it's just like, boy, look where the fuck you come from. Look where you come from. Like, I don't want to get emotional, but it's like, look where you, look where you come from. Like, seriously, look how far you come. And it's just like, oh my God. It's just like, boy, you really... Sometimes, like, I have, I don't give myself credit because I don't like to look back. But it's like, look where you come from. It's like you you, you ain't there where you want to be, but you so far from where you came from. Like, living back home in the Bahamas, I love my country. I love my country to death. But it's just like... I just remember like those days when literally it was a struggle to survive for me. Like we wasn't like dirt poor, but we wasn't like no me ain't no flash of no money or nothing like we ain't nothing like that. So it's like to be in the rooms that you are like, how the fuck did I end up at the Baccarat Hotel just casually? This place like a thousand dollars a fucking night. And to some people, it's nothing. And to me, it's like, I fight so hard to get where I'm at today. And it's like, I'm proud of myself. I really am proud of myself. Even like doing this vlog, like, I would have never done this. But I said, you know what, Lionel? It's time. It's time to do it. It's time. This is the time. You're about to be 30. Things about to change, hopefully. Like, my life is in that era where this is the defining moment, and I'm just, like, moving into that era of excellence, and I can just feel it. And I just keep looking back, and I don't like to look back. Like I said, I just keep looking back. Like, like look where the fuck you are. Look where you come from. And it's just, like, I'm so humble. I'm so grateful. I know y'all thinking, like, what is he rambling about? What is he crying about? Because I can't share, like, details. But it's just, like, to be in the room? To be in the room? It's just, like, it's everything. It's fucking everything. And, oh, my God! I forgot to tell y'all. I met Janessa Myricks last night at the Sephora event. Oh, my God. She was the sweetest fucking person ever. She was so nice, like, I love her. She was so nice. And she said she's going to send me some PR. She's going to put me on a PR list. I'm like, no, no, the next of my PR list. Just like, oh, my God. I can't even explain. My throat is hurting. But last night was one of them nights. No vlogging, really. I vlogged at the Sephora event, but out of the other private stuff, the dinners and the going out and the club afterwards and all that partying afterwards, I just feel like I wanted to live in the moment, like for real, for real. Like, not every time you have to record, record, take a picture. Like, I just want to be in my soft era. <laughs> but, yeah, it was fucking a vibe.